non-governmental employees do not have any general whistleblowing protection in the state of Texas, which comes as a surprise to most uh, employees and executives. And so as a general rule, I can complain about illegal conduct uh, that a conduct that the company is engaging in, and in certain circumstances, I can be fired. As a result of Enron and another and other corporate collapses, um, but particularly because of uh, Sharon Watkins' complaint, um, Congress is motivated to act and to protect people who complain about a very specific type of fraud. The issue is, are you complaining about shareholder fraud? And that comes up for a variety of reasons, because executives and employees feel uh, that there is some general whistleblowing protection, and that somehow they are protected when they complain of illegal conduct. And the question is, well, is this illegal conduct something that a shareholder would want to know about or a potential shareholder would want to know about? And there are lots of activities, there's lots of misconduct that a company can engage in that actually doesn't and typically won't affect a, a company's share price and is of very little interest to a shareholder or a potential shareholder. And if a, a person cannot reasonably believe it would be important for a shareholder to know, then that employee is not protected if they complain about that type of activity.